Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. I wanna do another robot run. It's another recording day for myself and I want to get warmed up on some Gungeon with some robot, play a cursed mode run and see if we can't pull out a victory. I can't remember if the last run or a couple of runs or whatever have been victories. I've had a couple of good victories and a couple of kind of nasty failures. Including one where I died on the dragon with like 10 million jammed SMGs. I think that was like three episodes ago, I want to say. But look, I still feel, feel bad about it. I want to try to make right with the world. Try to emerge victorious from this gungeon run. I want to become jammed and have adequate recompense for that. You know, I want to be able to survive having Lord of the Jam following me around all the time. Because it feels like lately, whenever I, I get him on the screen, I just end up bricking it up. Now that might be because I've purposefully been trying to ignore him as of late, and as a result, maybe I haven't had a good enough opportunity to really train on Lord of the Jam. I have kind of gone out of... I guess he died. I didn't think I killed him. But he wasn't jammed. This is a jam guy. He's been taking a million years to kill. But yeah, Lord of the Jam, maybe I just need to practice a little bit more with him following me around, even if it's going to cost me some victories. Or I just need a very strong run to really make me want to get Lord of the Jam following me around all the time. But we'll see what happens. Sometimes you just don't get runs that allow you to become as cursed as you want to become, you know? Like, uh, on that run in which I, I died on the dragon fight, I had picked up the Elder Blank from just a random Mimic chest that just happened to try to attack me. Elder Blank is a very good item, but I had no synergies that went with it. I didn't have anything that really improved my coolness to the degree that I would like. I didn't have... Oh, I don't have the coolant ready. Uh, I didn't have, you know, any super powerful blanking synergies or anything. I just had a run that ended up not working out. And a lot of times lately I've been finding the, uh, the Cursula shop, and there's nothing in the Cursula shop that I want, and also, if I become cursed, I can't buy anything from the Curseula shop. I can only buy one item because then Lord of the Jam will just follow me around as soon as I buy an item. So I don't know how to go about becoming cursed. I actually don't. Like how, it would be one thing if there was like a huntsman on the gun altar after the boss fight and I could go pick it up, get Lord of the Jam following me around, and then after that, I could, uh, go to the Cursula shop and buy all three items because Lord of the Jam's not following me or something. But when it's just Cursula, as soon as you buy one item, freaking she closes up her shop. I don't know what to do about that. It, it, it It's kind of a pain in the butt. Same thing happens with other shops too, of course. You know, you've got your Flint, you've got your, uh, your Torque. Torque. At least for, uh, for this shop, man, uh, he has the decency to take two seconds and put the sign up on his shop that says we're closing and it gives you, uh, you know, three seconds to buy the rest of your items. If the other shopkeepers gave me three seconds to buy their items, I would feel so much better about it because I could actually finish my purchasing. Yeah, it's like, yeah, 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 I'm cursed. Don't worry about it. My money's still good. Why won't, why are you closed? Why will you not take my coins? Well, in this case, they're bullet casings. Ah, just rant over. It's just, it's it's awkward because it's, you know, a core mechanic to the game of buying items, and especially on a cursed run, you want to be able to make sure that you can get a good enough payout for becoming cursed, and if you can't buy anything or everything from the shops that you want, then your plan can kind of fall through. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know really how to deal with that type of a situation. I don't know if I'm missing something or, or something. But in any case, <laughs> we're having a good run so far. I am going to get rid of the coolant for the Potion of Lead Skin before the boss fight. <sighs> and hell, I could buy the freaking mailbox right now. Let's do it. We're going to have mailbox, Potion of Lead Skin, and hell, if I'm going to pick up 
the mailbox, why not open the blue chest? I have three keys already, thanks to the two key drops that we had on this floor. Since I bought a gun, we're not guaranteed a, a gun drop from the boss. Chest contains a crestfaller, which is holy shit amazing. Maybe not holy shit amazing, but it's one of my favorite guns in the game, just straight up due to its defensive potential. I'll look for a secret room, why not? We have a second. I don't imagine it taking more than two shots to find, so it's probably in the shop or just somewhere else. But yeah, we're gonna use mail gun here. We've got potion of lead skin. It's a very annoying fight, honestly. Hopefully, we will be able to emerge with a flawless. Gotta just wait to use his potion, like right now. There's a lot of bullets flying around. And what I might even want to do is, um, yeah, change to the Crestfaller right about now. Because I should be able to slow him down. Oh my god, the frickin' his bullet arcs. What the hell? Okay, I have a complaint here. He was not slowing down his attack animation at all. Like, what's the deal? That's really strange, because I, I wanted to switch to the Crestfaller because I knew that with the Crestfaller I could make him slow down. He's gonna, going to not rush me down quite nearly as much, and his, his rate of fire will be slower. His rate of fire didn't actually change there, did it? So I, I, I kind of feel a little bit cheated about that. Like, that's the reason why I... Uh, was using the Crestfaller there. I could have just stayed on the mailbox, kept the ammo, conservation, you know. But yeah, I uh, feel a little bit, a little bit cheated out of that. So I unfortunately can't go to the secret room because I did use both blanks on the boss fight. It, it was worth it. It was worth it, but yeah, I can't afford that blank. I'm two credits shy. I don't think there's any way I can possibly get two credits on the floor because we're done. So. We're just gonna go down to the oubliette. One secret room short. But I, I don't feel bad. Ooh, excuse me, I don't feel bad about my purchases at all. Because the mailbox is an awesome gun. And the crestfaller is an awesome gun to get from a chest. And Phoenix is, it's a secret room finding gun until I can gun munch it or sell it. That's what it's gonna be used for. So I'm, I'm actually, you know, okay with where we are right now. The only thing that we, uh, that we can't do is access one secret room. That's not that bad. And the Crestfaller, it is such a good support weapon. Whenever I need to, whenever there's a jammed enemy like that meat cube, I can just freeze him with two or three or four shots out of the Crestfaller and then take my time killing him room like this, for instance. Just knock out those veterans. I probably didn't even need to. It seemed like, for some reason, they weren't all shooting at me at the same time. But, whatever. Yeah, I, honestly, oh, fuck. I used a blank there. Uh, <laughs> that was actually uh, incredibly poor on my part. I uh, was trying to dodge out of the way of an enemy that was spawning near me, and I, for some reason, decided that the best way to do that would be to dodge into another enemy. <laughs> Whatever. Everyone makes those types of mistakes every once in a while. Just gotta focus a little bit more on my uh, my situational awareness in Gungeon right now. I'm glad that there's no mushroom drop or mushroom guys that spawned here, but I'm a little bit sad that we picked up a heart drop from that. At least that rubber bullet can, or he's not a rubber bullet can, he's an electric bullet can. Is he a bullet can or is, no, he's a rubber bullet, an electric rubber bullet, right? Although electric rubber bullet, how does that work? That seems to be a little bit oxymoronic, am I right? <laughs> You're a moronic. <laughs> well, at least we got the shop. Let's go see what's in the shop. Hopefully it's a bunch of armor. I would feel better if I could get some more armor before or I go down to the next floor, and maybe after that, you know, the Abbey. And of course there's nothing, and of course there's Casey. God, I hate Casey. It's not good. At the very least, it's definitely not good for 
DD20 mode run where you're also running Blessed and you have Explosive Pyre because then the enemy's exploding your face. I just personally don't appreciate Casey. I can see the benefit, yeah, being able to freeze enemies. Not freeze enemies, that's a Crestfaller. Being able to, uh, oh, and that's Weapon Switch Bug. Being able to uh, one-hit enemies, essentially, or at the very least do substantial damage. Kill two enemies with one swing if you knock them into each other. That's pretty nice stuff, but it's just not very good. Um, I'm going to save the key for right now, because if I run across a green chest with a wick, I might as well open it so that it does not explode. Otherwise, I don't really just want to open that one green chest right now. I think I would prefer to try and fight the boss first. Why? Eh. Getting one more gun drop would be pretty nice, I think. Freeze! It's the police! Freeze! Oh god! He exploded into a million bullets a lot faster than I thought he would. We killed him very quickly for some reason. I say for some reason, but I guess we were shooting a lot of bullets at him. The Crestfaller does more damage than you might expect. That one veteran next to me, he wasn't even shooting at me. He was trying to shoot the, the explosive barrel through me. That was very strange. Because if he was shooting at me, he would have just stopped his movement. But he didn't stop his movement. He kept trying to move past me. That seemed very strange. But also, that's a very interesting thing. Maybe I can bait enemies sometimes if there's an explosive barrel at the opening of a room. And as a result, save myself a little bit of headache. Ah, Gungeon. I've got a love-hate relationship with this game. It's a great game, but sometimes it just pisses me off in just the right way. I suppose. <laughs> Haven't be been using Potion of Lead Skin. I definitely should, and I will use it if we run into a situation where it's beneficial, like right now. Jammed Veteran and Jammed Mutant Bulletkin is something that I would prefer not to deal with. Now that there's only one veteran left, I can handle him. Even if he's gonna try to lead my shots a little bit. Was it? That was weird, it was just the two grenades. Ah, yeah, okay. Um, I suppose we're gonna save the chest until the end of the floor? So that we can get a gun drop from the boss, because I, I'm not confident right now with the weapons we have. I mean, the weapons we have are good, but they're not Old King good, you know? So I do want to guarantee at least one more gun drop from this floor's boss, and then after that, maybe I'll start focusing a little bit more on passives. I tend to value good guns over good passives, you know? At least he... Okay. I think we're good now. At least he shot the uh, explosive barrel next to him, and that caused him to fly away from me instead of into me, which seems to happen with relative frequency in this game. With the knockback physics or whatever. Don't mind that guy, because he's just going to light on fire. Stop with the red hearts, please, game. Alright, there's the boss fight. What was in the shop? What is this, Derringer? The 38 Special. This is the one that I think when you dodge, you can... Fire faster after the dodge or something? In any case, uh, we might as well use the mailbox here. We've got a ton of ammo for it. The next ammo drop will probably go for the Crestfaller and the mailbox. But if I can if I can do the fight using like the Phoenix or the robot's right hand, maybe that's what I should do. I'm going to have a uh, Potion of Lead skin soon. Use that whenever I feel the need and save the blank, maybe? I can save the blank, I can find a secret room. Just gonna pop it now. Oh yeah, lovely. I pop it, you become invincible, and then you immediately make these stupid bullet buddies. Might as well get a little bit of use out of Phoenix. That's probably prob probably the only time I'm ever gonna use it during combat. I know with Potion of Lead Skin I can get up next to an enemy's face and try to light him on fire, but the Phoenix doesn't do that much damage. I would have much rather use something like the gun I'm using right now, which has infinite ammo and range. 
not to say that the Phoenix doesn't have range, just not nearly as much, I think. Although, you know what, it probably does have similar range. It's just not as good. Okay, I like the angle I'm at. Of course, he did it again. I don't like the angle of this. I do like this, though. Potion of lead skin is now active. Do not see myself taking damage on the fight. Might want a potion of lead skin this. Nope, we're good. Oh, fucking Christ! Did you see that? It didn't slow down! As soon as I say it, too. Ah, oh, we're, we're fine. We don't need to use the potion. As... I, <laughs> that bullet just tracked me, and he didn't slow down. It was... It was... Oh, my God. I feel so... Silly now. <laughs> I do. I feel very silly. Oh my god. Like I was I was doing fine. I was in between the bullets and then that thing came out of nowhere and it didn't slow down at all. Oh, spice. Oh. It's half a level of curse for your first spice. It's not worth it, is it? What, what does spice give you? And how much curse is it? If it's half a level of curse, I might take it. Uh, Gungeon, spice. I think it's half a level, which is strange. But on the first use, adds a heart container, increases the player's speed by 20%, decreases shot speed by 25%, and increases curse by 0 0.5. Then it will slow down enemy bullets and improve firing speed. Then it will slow down enemy bullets and increase damage. Then it will remove a heart container and increase damage. And... It'll constantly increase damage every time I take spice while increasing my spread at that point. Ugh. What the hell do I do about this? I can take one, which will make me faster and reduce my spread. Technically, we're, we're not super uber super cursed don't make the freaking lord of the jam follow me follow me right now anyways game Ugh. that means we're gonna get more spice as we play oh shit i i oh. i'm such an idiot you want to know why because you can freaking walk along the spike traps i oh god i hate myself sometimes <laughs> Only sometimes, and this is one of those times. Okay. This is why I need to keep playing Gungeon, because there's these little things, these little things, that even to this day surprise me. And things that I need to remember, like I can freaking get, oh right, I need to look for secret rooms. Shit. And I teleported there and then teleported there, so I'm gonna have to walk through them again. Whatever, let's, you know what, no, I actually did search the room. Let's check the exit room with the Phoenix. Like, I just need to freaking walk over the spike traps. And I never want to because it's a spike trap. Why would you ever want to walk over a spike trap? Well, because you can't. And if you walk over the spike traps, then you're not going to take damage. Ugh. Well, at least we got a key out of it. And not a mimic will open it. I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take another spice to get it cursed. I'll take one. A level of spice I do not think is worth the curse. Now, we are going to probably find a bunch of spice on this run. But honestly, I will take a couple of item drops out of the pool, out of the system, out of the game for a aim bonus and a uh, speed bonus. Because it is an aim bonus and a speed bonus, right? Yeah, it's an aim bonus and a speed bonus. It doesn't give us the HP, of course, but... You know, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Probably didn't need to, uh, to pop that right now in this room, but... Whatever. I saw the jammed enemy. I want to keep this HP intact. Don't, don't, don't do this to me, ghosts. Don't do this to me, ghosts! I want to freaking win, and I want to kill the old king at the same time. That damage didn't mean shit. That's what I want to be able to say at the end of this. Oh my god, this is not going to be good. There's a lot of enemies here. 
Uh, this is not gonna be very good at all. Okay, it's fine now. It's kinda hoping they wouldn't destroy the explosive barrel, but that works too. I can walk around these guys, it's just gonna take a sec. At least there's not veterans. If there's a veteran here, that would make this much more difficult. Just gotta knock him out once. I don't care how long this takes, I'm gonna play it safe. And playing it safe right now means freezing this jerk. Every iteration and not get hit by him. He's dead. That was very quick. That was actually surprisingly quick, I would like to say. I don't need to keep using the crest for a while. I just wanted to use it once to knock out that, uh, that mage that I was, ooh, clicked off the screen? I haven't done that in a million years. I thought this game had a mouse lock. Maybe it does it and I just thought it did. I could have sworn Gungeon had a mouse lock. Oh, you know why? Because I changed it from a full screen to a uh, windowed resolution last time. Or not last time I played, but maybe like a couple of times ago, trying to fix a uh, weird frame rate dip bug that I was having. You are a normal. Wait for you to shoot and run past you. All right, still got the crest intact and, well, speak of the devil, here is the drop off point. So, suppose we should go down to the abbey. As long as I flawless this boss and I'm doing well, I do not see a reason not to. And even if I'm not doing well, it's just not a run if you don't go to the abbey. That's a total lie. You are not a mimic, you're just a chest. Uh, that's interesting. I'll think about this. I could destroy it and try to get a uh, damage upgrade. Oh. You know what? I'll take one shot out of the crest baller to make sure you die. And you, I should be able to kill this guy in his next iteration without using the crest baller because he's pretty damaged. He got two shots off. That's fine. As long as there's no veterans, I don't mind how many bulk in there are. We'll get them killed eventually. I have the potion, but these guys shouldn't hit me as I roll into a pot and spawn a gun fairy and then the gun fairy shoots me or something. Or I roll into one of them <laughs> instead. <laughs> oh god. That was still very helpful. I didn't freeze, you know, the, the meat cube. But even freezing that guy meant that I didn't have to worry about two attacks coming in while I was dodging. So I still appreciate that. I need to get the shop unlocked. I want to buy stuff. I want to buy keys. I want to buy armor. I want to buy items and guns and weapons. I want to buy a backpack right now. I want to have another item slot. And then I want another really good item. Give me a, uh, what haven't I had in a long time? Give me, I've had double invincibility items recently. Give me, I don't know. I take a small break in between my shots, I can actually hit him three times. But, it doesn't matter, he's dead. Out of my way. Get out of here. Gun munch. Spice. Replace the guan stone. Buy the blank, buy the key, buy the key. There's ammo, we can refill the mailbox. Let's fight the boss. Uh, should we get another gun drop? What do we have? We have Void Core Assault Rifle, Vertebrae K, Crestfaller, Mailbox. We don't really have a great boss killer. Could just end up being Spice. Uh, let's keep exploring. Keep 
going for a little bit. Oh, I didn't even see that bullet. I was thinking about popping Potion of Lead Skin. Uh, I thought I had it under under control. I just need to, I need to use the items more frequently. That's my big problem. Even on a room like this, you know, it's just three bullet kin, but mistakes happen, and I made a mistake with my uh, my positioning uh, and my inability to notice that there was an enemy behind me with a freaking bullet at my head. I, what I should have probably done is just st stuck with the uh, crestfaller and actually frozen one more enemy. But again, it, mistakes happen. I'm not going to worry about it too much as long as we can win. But I will say, you know, even just like taking one damage per floor like I've been doing, that's that's not going to last. I wish I didn't do that. I was thinking about destroying the chest and then I decided to open it. And the flashbang is not something that I want. So that is not good. Not the best anyways. Hoping that maybe I could get him to destroy the bullets, but those bullets were dissipating anyways. Alright, well this is gonna be a gun, so you know I feel better about opening this. And the Pox Cannon is really good. So I do not mind that at all. Alright, boss fight. We're gonna use Pox Cannon and Mailbox. Probably just start with the mailbox. It'll be our boss killer, right? I don't know if you can actually uh, poison the Medusi here. I was thinking to myself, why are my bullets cursed? Because they had that particle effect on them, but no, that's that's from the freaking electricity that I've got. That I freaking started the game with. Just gotta love the explosions. I have Potion of Lead Skin. Let's abuse it when that Uzi attack comes out next. I hate that Uzi attack. Maybe even on this attack, I can probably knock a lot of the bullets back into her. There we go. What do we want ammo for? Probably the Crestfaller, because it's only got 66 left. Pulse Cannon is actually pretty good. We picked up another Flawless. The Brown Chest. I'm going to destroy the Brown Chest and get Junk, aka a damage upgrade, I think. Fucking Christ. All right, we are going to... <laughs> I don't want to gun munch anything. All this is pretty good. I guess we're just gonna go and fight the old king. I do have plus one blank from the floor. Let's check in case there is a exit. All right, well, let's do it. I think we've got a good chance. Pox Cannon is very good. It's kind of like a mini mega hand, but without the need to charge it, and with a lot more poison. I've got enough HP that I, I feel relatively okay with this. I have three blanks, so I can use two and then hopefully buy some from the shop. We're gonna have a shop, we're gonna have maybe another chance to nudge nudge buy armor game! I did not buy ammo. On the last floor, I did not buy ammo. Damn, that's <laughs> such a dumb mistake. You're jam, that's why you're not dying. Die! It only took like four shots, I think, to kill that jammed mage. Box cannon is dope. It'll take like two shots plus uh, a second to kill one of those priests. And it's got really good knockback. And it's like a useful knockback too, because it's got relatively good accuracy. That's kind of a dumb thing to do. There we go, there's an ammo drop. Feel good, feel better, anyways. I still should have bought ammo because I could refill the mailbox with that. And then with the next ammo drop, refill the Pox Cannon. So I'm kind of like behind the eight ball in terms of ammo now. You, freaking book, almost caused me to roll into a shot. That would have been not good. I don't need to tell you that. If you're still watching this, then you already know the definition of not good. 
Ha! Uh, Self-deprecating humor. I don't like this, but we're in it. We're in it, boys. You know what? Don't make the same mistakes again and again and again and again. Wow, you take a lot of hits to kill. And that's a lot of t-shirts on the ground. What do you got? A key. I would love a backpack right now so that I could hold onto that decoy. Should still conserve ammo when I don't need to use the pox scanner, like if there's one enemy left. But it's definitely a uh, an opener. All three of these guys are jammed. You gotta be careful with the, um, the mage. He will do contact damage, I believe. I don't mind poisoning these guys. Getting a little bit of dot up. Do worry about what happens when he explodes. What'll happen to my dodging ability. But luckily all three of them are in their slowest movement state now. So I just hold tight. Fuck. Ghosts plus the gun nut. I think we just kill the gun nut first, honestly. Because with the gun nut, gun nut out of the way, I can actually dodge. The problem with the ghosts is that if they spawn in front of me, I won't be able to dodge away from the gun nut. But this is fine. One dead. And two dead. Nice, okay. We've been to the shop, we'll pick up the key. Honestly, really good on keys right now. Should probably think honestly about using the Crestfaller instead of the Pox Cannon, but it's already half done with ammo, and it's so good. Really do like enjoying, I, I, I love getting the Pox Cannon because it is kind of just like a mini mega hand to me. Very good damage. Very good knockback. One shot if you let the enemy live for a while, live while they are poisoned, one shot can probably get a kill on someone. It's got a nice little damage over time effect because when you kill an enemy, they'll, they'll split into poison pools. And the poison pools will just inflict poison on more enemies. Wow, wasn't enough to kill this guy though in one shot. Oh, and the guy alive is jammed. I do have that speed upgrade, so I can make dodges around priests. We're gonna open it. Charge shot is fine. Probably gonna be a seeker, yeah. Brother Alburn, a free chest. Come on, just give me like Give me a gun knife piece. Give me a nano machines. Colt 1851 is fine. It's not the best gun in the game, but it is decent. Honestly, the robot's right hand might be better. It's a very good item if you're someone like the pilot who has a uh, really shitty starting pistol. It might be less valuable on someone like the robot who has a uh, maybe a better pistol in their default weapon. I was slightly worried about that. I was slightly worried about that. All right, there's the boss fight. Screw you. We are going to open all the chests on the floor. I haven't taken damage on this floor, have I? No, I had eight armor coming down here and I still got eight armor. That's the true test. Can we leave this floor with as much or more HP than we came down here with? That is the true test. You must die, you are dead. Could probably knock him into the pit, but he's the last wave on that room, so just kill him. Oh, he was in his, uh, casting phase, and as a result, I couldn't knock him into the pit. He had infinite knockback resistance thanks to that. Okay, so it's either gonna be Pox Cannon or Mailgun. Mailgun's still got like 200 shots. Um, basically 200 shots. We're gonna take it for the Pox Cannon. We do have enough 
ammo in our guns to kill the old king. The question I still have, though, is do we have enough to kill him quickly? This is actually a good opportunity to use the Crestfaller, because these guys don't get poisoned. Don't you frickin' dare. You know what? Should've probably used the potion. Fuck. Whatever. It's fine, it's fine. Those guys are a pain in the ass anyways. Everyone agrees. Oh, thank God, a mimic, finally. It's been a while. I was wondering if you would ever show up. Fox Cannon should easily be able to take out a mimic. Can't hit me. You can't hit what you can't see. Get out of here. Homing bullets. Homing bullets are very nice. No armor in the shop. Buy the blank. Buy the scope. Makes the the um spice even just a little bit less valuable having picked it up. I wish I had another inventory space. I really do, because decoy is good. But I guess we're just gonna have to fight the boss with what we've got. And what I've got is gun are guns that don't really do that much damage that quickly. Maybe the vertebrae K would be nice. A mail gun, the explosions are nice. I don't know. I think I'm gonna take damage here. I don't think I'll be able to uh to flawless this guy. Start with an early pop. Maybe move around him. Ideally above him, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. This is gonna be a blank! Yeah. Because of that ring that was following me. Couldn't actually deal with it in time. I thought I actually had that dodge. I thought I had that dodge. I guess I didn't. Potion of Lead Skin is taking a long time to charge, isn't it? I guess that's normal, but I still would wish that it would go a little bit faster. I don't like being above him, because I feel like identifying Hitboxes are a little bit wonkier when you're above an enemy. Come on. Still have one blank. Still doing all right. Those skulls, they track ya. I don't hate it. I hate a lot more than that. One more explosion. No. We're gonna get the wave. And I rolled into the bullet. I should have blanked it at the, the last possible second there, but I thought I was actually gonna make it out of that. So I've taken two hits already. Hopefully we're not gonna make it three. I was really hoping that would explode. So honestly, this is fine right here. Get that ring dissipated. Out of ammo. So we switch to the Pox Cannon. I've got the Potion of Blood Skin. We took two hits to kill the old king. Was it worth it? Ugh. Honestly, I don't think so. Metronome is nice. It's gonna make the Pox Cannon do more damage, but... Dude, I don't think so. We're, still, we're down to like seven HP. I should buy the ammo. And I'm gonna buy it for the mailbox. Don't forget to buy the ammo this time. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We still have plenty of time to come back and make progress killing enemies. Because we're only down to the third floor. We have the third floor shop, the fourth floor shop, the fifth floor shop, plus all the drops that we can get. I should definitely not force guns anymore because we have a decent enough loadout for the rest of the game. It's really just that first part. The more I kill enemies with the Pox Cannon, the more I'll be able to kill them with the Pox Cannon. And I need to kill them with the Pox Cannon shot, not the poison. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Everyone gets one, boys. Just wasting my ammo, come on, die! 
Yeah, I don't think killing them with the poison counts for Pox Cannon. Maybe it does because they leave that poison creep on the ground. So maybe the game calculates it as as the poison killing them. I don't know. I honestly don't know. What I will say, though, is that that took forever. <laughs> that room. Oh. Oh, did you see that homing shot? <laughs> I, I was counting on that to work. Should wait a second. Just fire the second shot so I get the metronome bonus off of it. Shop is locked behind the key. We are probably going to go into the shop though because I want to buy stuff. I want to buy armor. I want to buy, well, I guess spending a key to buy a key doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I still want to buy armor if I can. Shots are trying to home too much. I thought I was going to get hit there. I didn't think I would get that protected corner on the wall. This room is all about, oh my God, he exploded in the bullets. Of course he would explode in the bullets. Why would he not? This is all about this reinforcement wave here. I don't want to switch. I don't want to switch because I want that metronome bonus. You know, why not make my life a little bit easier if I can? And what I can do is go into the shop to buy ammo. Or just pick up this ammo right here. And as, as a result, keep the box cannon going for longer. There is a, there's a game, a gun game, a gun game man. Have a shot, Colonel Clink. I would love something that could let me fly. I don't think, I don't think playing him would cost me the metronome bonus because he swaps my gun for me. Out for that one. But I, I don't want to play him right now because, you know, just in case I can get something that lets me fly, I would like to use that to simplify that shooting range challenge. He's on the map, so I won't forget about him, so I don't mind leaving him. I would mind more if he wasn't on the map because then I would forget. And the metronome bonus is still getting stacked. Honestly, I might want to, oh, I don't really like this, but it's working. I don't really want to um, switch, swap out of the box cannon. I might even want to fight the boss with this gun. Oh, shit. I should've just used the potion of blood skin. Look at all the poison on the ground. I can't dodge. Jerks. I need to kill these guys. The, the metronome bonus, I think, is worth using some blanks. This room sucked. I know I could have pushed them into the pit, but I couldn't really get the angle on them with that turret firing at the same time. Although, with the Potion of Lead Skin, I definitely could have, so I probably should have just done it. Alpha Bullets is really good. It's gonna make the first shot of Pox Cannon, maybe even get a kill on its first shot? And we do more damage with the box cannon with the metronome. So honestly, this is relatively ammo efficient. And if I can get a kill with every shot, box cannon's gonna do more damage. I should still try to kill things as soon as I can, when I can. And waste a little bit of ammo. Hopefully there will be some in the shop. But now we're at the point where we're actually killing bulletkins in one hit, so I don't don't mind doing a little bit of spam now. Oh, oh! With pox cannon, killing a boss should be pretty easy. And honestly, killing one of these guys, even if they are being buffed, is gonna be relatively straightforward. Come here. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes! I feel good. I feel good about this situation that I'm in literally right now. I don't feel good about having to use those blanks. 
Shit happens. Probably kill these guys in one shot now. Yep. Not a problem. Still not gonna switch away from this uh, Hox Cannon. I will get it up to as high of a level as I can, man. Open the... Destroy the chest, because if I open the chest, I can't get into the secret room. Not in the secret room, uh, the shop room. And I wanna get in the shop room, so... We'll take junk. It's gonna be a, you know, a green level gun, but guns are not the most important thing right now. Damage and health is the most important thing right now. Survivability. Having a good run. Going to the shop and buying ammo, although I think we can probably wait until after the boss fight. With the damage upgrade I, I have, that should be possible. There's a flint in here. He's still on the A key, but I can't actually afford it. I'm out of keys. We'll fight the boss. Maybe, maybe the boss will drop three keys. Hell, I don't know. Oh my god, pretty good damage. He's still poisoned. Can't hit him though. I have one blank. If I ever, ever feel like I'm gonna get hit, blank. If you gotta blank that, then why are you playing Gungeon? If I ever feel like I'm gonna blank, or I'm gonna get hit, I gotta blank. I don't mind this, because I've got homing shots, pretty much. I don't mind using ammo. Was there ammo on the shop? I can't not remember. That's a blank. <laughs> Metronome is still getting charged. Give me ammo. It's... It's armor and a gun that I actually don't really want to. S I don't really want to pick up because if I pick up the gun, that's going to cost me metronome, won't it? I mean, I can use the Orgunny for a floor, but then I will have to. Uh, I'll have to swap it when I run out of ammo with the Orgunny. The Orgunny is not going to be able to get me through the next floor. Pox Cannon might. Have a shot, automaton. I'm game. I don't think he'll he'll cause me to lose metronome. I think he'll switch me back to the pox cannon. If he doesn't, I'll just have to rebuild the bonus. It happens. Okay, so the first shot we want is like right here. Basically 45 degrees on the middle. Now if I aim up. Then it's gonna go farther, and if I aim down, aim down first, yeah. I'm gonna aim like right there, I think. Nope, not even close. It's more like the middle of this one. Nope, not even close. I have no idea what I'm doing, and we lost metronome bonus. Luck. <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> we got the hexagon. I, this is probably my, my least favorite uh, version of it, too, because I, I, I just don't... I don't understand what I need to do in order to make the... Uh, my shots actually bounce correctly. It's very, very difficult. I think maybe what I need to do is, is aim straight, but move myself. Because I, I do remember being able to, to do this previously, and, you know, the first shot you go in the middle, the second shot you go high, and the third shot you go low. But I think I need to move at the same time while I'm doing that so that my shots still travel at those exact 45 degree angles. I think that's what my problem was there. We might as well take the Orgunny now. Since we lost the metronome bonus. But if I get lucky, I can hold on to metronome bonus on the next floor by continuing to use the Pox Cannon. I could spend a key and oh, get like a Ring of Chest Friendship. But I think we're fine as is. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Eh. One Guan Stone isn't worth it. If I had a Glass Guan Shrine, I would like to try to make a run work where I have like 10 Glass Guan Stones around me at all time. That'd be fun. Difficult, but possibly fun. But every time I get the Glass Shrine, either A, forget it, or B, just get hit. Ah, this sucks. Freeze him! Okay, he's frozen now. 
He's gonna take a lot of my ammo. Oh no, he's dead. Oh, we got armor! <laughs> uh, you stupid game, that's the exact thing that I needed. Gotta start building up that bonus now. It's gonna take time. I knew that when I heard the breaking of the metronome after playing the Winchester's game, man. It really sucks that he broke my, my bonus, though. I didn't expect that to happen. Because he gives you the gun, and when that happens, he doesn't uh, break your bonus. But I guess taking the gun counts as breaking the bonus. Yo, shoot one of these guys, please. I thought I would be able to get the kill with uh, one shot on each of those, but I guess not. Oh my god, fuck. Did not expect that all of these guys would be jammed. At least I can still get in a good charge shot every once in a while. I, I call it a charge shot, it's really just a reloaded shot. And if I can get that kill, get that metronome bonus up. Oh, this sucks. This is a potion of blood skin. I have it, use it, I recognize that I had it, and I used it. That's that's me learning right there. Would love it if they exploded that. Thank you. You're not jammed, are you? I thought he wasn't, just wanted to make sure. Because it would suck if he was. One of these guys is no problem, you just run around forever. There's a whole lot of them, that's the problem. Okay, so, I did get... I did get the, uh, Buffomancer there. The singer, the gun singer? I got him poisoned, so he's gonna run around forever. The jammed whiz-bang bullet, though, is a pain in my butt. Good stuff. Okay, uh, yet more spice, I know. Spice is great, spice is love, spice is life. I'm more interested in the fact that there is a ammo drop. And the ammo drop means that I can keep the pox cannon going and even fight the boss with it. I should have just popped the po potion, but I couldn't think about that in the moment. Why? But it's because I always have blanks. I don't always have a potion of invincibility. This is good. So I want to use the blank when I'm in danger. Because it's easier on my uh, poor animalistic brain. Yeah, I figured we'd freeze him and knock him into the pit or just kill him. Knocking him into the pit wouldn't count as, uh... Hmm. Wouldn't count as uh, getting the kill with the gun, though, so we wouldn't get the points. Metronome points. Wish I had something that had one bullet in the clip, then I'd be using that forever. Oh no, my poison shirt! At homes! Okay, good. It's not coming towards me. <laughs> my poison shirts! No! Should just double tap those guys. If you're not gonna kill them on the first hit, kill them on the second, you know? If you gotta waste some shots, there's ammo, so we don't necessarily need to worry so much. About, uh, about a missed shot. Oh, by the blank. Pick up the blank. Airstrike is really good. I like it, but we've got the potion, so I'm just gonna stick with it. Airstrike would kill enemies when I use it, but potion just makes me invincible. 
Half a dozen of one, half a dozen of the other. Get out of here. You disappeared before your animation started. That is cheating! We don't have a backpack, and since that's the passive item for the floor, I don't think we're gonna get one. Yeah, sure. Come at me. Come at me, jerk! It's like a perfect opportunity, though, to have a, uh... You know what? Perfect opportunity to have a, uh... Backpack, because airstrike is good. Does a decent amount of damage, knocks enemies into pits, sometimes into you, but for the most part, it is better to have than not. And it's way better than Napalm Strike, because it does its damage a little bit more instantly. I almost got hit by that enemy spawning, because I did not see him. There's a lot of guys here now. <laughs> got you. It is nice that the, the poison does land, even on these guys. Because the poison is kind of created under them as they are creating their own creep. What's interesting is that that's not really how it works for the player. That was so dumb. Like, why dodge there? It's not really how that works for the player because when the player has sponge, it stops them from getting poisoned at all. Yeah, bad dodges on occasion. Bad dodges. Well, I'm like one kill away from getting a potion of lead skin. I might want to try that on that trap room just so that I make sure I don't take damage and lose the pox bonus. There it is, potion of lead skin active. Don't home in on the body after it's already killed and killed. So by picking up that blank, I'm basically going to assume that that is my, my cost of getting through this room with the potion. I've got a blank I can use on the boss to get the potion charged if I need it. That is what I will choose to assume. Oh! God, get out of here! Fuck! Get into the pit! Potion is half charged. Let's see what's in the chest. Let's first do that, then that, and open it. It's gonna be a gun. Uh, so, oh, but I don't want to guarantee the gun. I'm gonna take it. Proton backpack is a really good boss killer, and I've got a really nice modifier with the metronome. So hell, I could use this on the boss, switch to the pox scanner for the next floor, and probably be fine? Question mark, question mark, question mark, what else is to buy in the shop? Glass guanstone, oak shot, ammo. This might be awesome. It might be like damage capping me severely, but wouldn't the pox cannon do the same thing? Kind of had a little, had a little bit of lag there. So I got the potion ready. As soon as they do their jumping attack, that will jump towards me, which they will do probably in a second. You know what? You know what? I am getting damage cap. I need to do this. I need to spread out the damage. We're definitely going to be getting ammo for this gun, I think working out very nicely. Now, unfortunately, we're going to break the metronome. Oh, uh, you know what? We don't need to break the metronome. Here's the thing. Pick that up. Pick up the sniper rifle. We'll use this for the next floor. Sure. Got four blanks still. Dude, I don't know. I don't know. What, what am I hoping for here? Keep getting ammo drops, keep the sniper rifle full, and then get a new gun right before the dragon that's a good boss killer, and then use that on the dragon with the metronome bonus at its maximum. I don't know. This guy's gonna be a pain in the butt. However, 
can probably gain more of a bonus. Yeah, good shooting, Tex. I knew it! How come I knew that this was gonna be the hammer room? Is it is the hammer room like in in the same layout or something? Is there some way of determining that you're gonna get the hammer room? Because I think I've internalized that in my brain. I don't mind reloading between every shot to get that alpha bullet. We're at max damage right now. Ooh, can't kill that guy in one shot. Most other enemies, though, pretty good. You know what? Because there's a skelly. Pop the potion. Go ahead, punch me. Two shot on him, an ammo drop. Um, this could be the greatest thing of all time. Hello, how's everyone doing? Um, if I take anything that's cursed, Lord of the Jam will come after me. You probably don't want that to happen, do you? This one, I, I prefer, you know, this version of the game to these versions here. Membrane is awesome, Bug Boots is good, would make me immune to the poison, and it's on the cheek because we are in one of these shops. Yellow Chamber, apparently this is super awesome. However, it's not that super awesome for the robot. It reduces your reload time and it does make some enemies charmed on a room, but the thing is, it uh, gives you two heart containers, and that's really the big bonus to it. But as the robot, we don't get those heart container bonuses, so it's kind of, kind of like meh, you know. That is uh, really good, though. I was kind of hoping for you know Andromeda, Gundromeda strain, um, if something a little bit better. Ah, uh, just keep shooting, Tex. Oh my god, what the hell? What, what bullet did you steal? Really wish I could kill you. You stole my sh sniper shot and then I didn't see it. So maybe the sniper shot like disappeared. When he got a hold of it or something. I kind of hope that's the case. We're doing all right though. Two shots with the alpha bullet and the metronome to kill one of those jam guys. Oh, you stand no chance in hell. Got another blank. 56 shots left. Need to find the shop. This is weird. This feels weird. But we're done. I wanted to kill the mage, because the mage would make this room much more difficult than it otherwise would be. I didn't want to kill him until he started his attack, because he only does the bullet circling attack when everyone's dead. So I wanted to make sure I had some time to uh, get damage in on him. Oh! Oh! You are screwed, man. You made a wrong decision somewhere in your life. Now this I hate. Come on. Thank you. I hate that guy with this small room. Still looking for the boss, still looking for items, still looking for the shop. A little bit of a double kill there. You know, I don't need to reload every shot if I know I can kill something. So let's, let's stop that if necessary. You know what? No! No, I say no! I will wait to open. Oh, I will wait to go into those rooms. I, I felt like I needed to kill him. Kill at least one of those guys. Two-shotting them is nice because it means I don't need to use the reload. But also, two-shotting them is nice so that I can... I hear the blacksmith, by the way. 
two shutting them is nice so that I can uh, not worry about their attack patterns. So there is key, there's gunite armor, there's science cannon. This is good stuff. I will buy the armor. I will probably buy the key so I can open a chest, but with one key in my inventory, if the first chest we come across is a mimic, I don't need to buy the key, and then maybe I can buy an item from one of those other shops like the membrane. So. What we're gonna do is hold off for a second. Okay, let me hit you. Homing bullets don't interfere, please. I can't reload anymore, which is unfortunate, but I will accept it. If I can do one more room with the gun, I think I can here. Then I'll get the ammo drop for it. Yep, so let's go get the ammo drop. Four bullets left, I would like, I would like to keep this gun for the dragon. This is not the right shop. It is this shop, which has the ammo drop. This shop has the ammo drop. This shop has the ammo drop. The other thing I can do though, is like pick up the membrane and use that to fight the boss because that would be amazing and very good because it is a very good gun. And then I can buy, you know, the... I can buy the... Uh... The poison bullets, the... Uh... The shield of blanks, whatever it's called. I can't think of it right now. I'm in the middle of something, okay? Freaking ghost spawning everywhere. Uh, full metal jacket. I can go buy a full metal jacket. Don't miss, okay? The ammo in this gun is too precious. Although I probably will go for the... Um, the membrane, I think. I think it's it's just gonna be better for me. I want the money. I think it's gonna be better because it's gonna be something that I can use a little bit more frequently. Like, it's, it has more ammo. Yes, this thing is one-shotting, like, everything. But the membrane will last longer. Uh, blooper. We'll take it. We'll finish off the floor with it. Since that chest was a mimic, I can come in here and open this chest. It's going to be a passive active. There's also a lock shop. See? That's why I wanted to wait for a second. It's also not got a wick on it. Trork, huh? Black bullets for 58. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Think, think about it. That's a secret room. It's a weird place for it to be, but it didn't cost us anything, ultimately. I guess it's not a weird place for it to be, I just never thought that it would be there. Okay, time to buy. What are we gonna buy? We're gonna buy a key. For 40, I'm gonna open the green chest. It's gonna give me passive active. Give me something good, please. Not a Mimic? I don't think it's a Mimic, it's not Munchin. It's the Orange, which is a coolness upgrade, so it is worth taking and using. I've never heard that sound effect before. No, I think I have. It's like, what, is it? what was that sound effect? I don't know. Full Metal Jacket, we're taking. Uranium Amulet, we're taking. I just wanna make sure I have enough cash on hand for the membrane. It is super cheap. Super, uber cheap. You know, this maybe is not as good as the sniper, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's good enough. We should be able to kill the dragon with it with the massive, massive damage upgrades. Thanks to the metronome. And I don't need to worry about get, getting hit and using blanks, you know? Using a blank here would be a massive waste of resources. Now, reloading after every shot is also a massive waste of resources. So let's not do that. Let's just take our shots. Shot, 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 shot. Oh, 
I think the uh, orange is a coolness upgrade. I actually don't know for certain. I just vaguely remember that from reading about the item a long time ago. I'm gonna do my classic dodge in the corner. Kill that guy, use a potion. We're at the heart phase now. Well, oh, one more shot, a couple more shots. We're gonna definitely have enough ammo in the membrane to kill the dragon. We're gonna go down to the next floor and probably swap back to the pox cannon after we finish off the membrane. The ammo and the gun anyways. It doesn't matter if we get hit because, well, it does matter. If I don't get hit, I can save one more blank for the next floor. It's gonna take a couple phases. Oh, I should have just fired one more time. That's fine. Again, we, we got the flawless in the bag. Kinda wish I could buy one more gun, like the M was the M16 from Trork might be fun, but it's gonna be like 90, 100 credits. Got 43, we can buy bug boots if we want. I think, yeah, that's a, that's a lead god. Although the dragon fight was a bit easy, but I did have four blanks at the end of it, you know. M16, yeah, 115, that is way too much. Oh right, I'm, I'm gonna play the gun game. Oh, but then I'm gonna lose the metronome bonus, but we're gonna lose the metronome, metronome bonus on the membrane anyways. So why not just try to get a gun from the gun game? Gun Knight armor, it's two armor. Spice, it's Lord of the Jam. Science Cannon is not good enough. It does have the ammo necessary, but you know, I think we play this guy, we see what happens. This will be the second time I play him on this run, so hopefully I'll be a little bit better with my shooting. But it's just that that last gun game, I, I hate it. I can never figure it out. So the question here is, do you aim high or low? I think you aim low to get underneath the... Uh... the block, something like this. Then it will bounce there and it should bounce up into the head. Now this time, we're bouncing the back. Oh shit! Oh and I didn't I didn't even pay attention to this moving platform. Wow, okay. I've completely lost my mojo for Winchester gun game. Let's get a green chest, which contains the Polaris. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this is acceptable. <laughs> the Polaris, out of a gun game that I got two chests on, or two hits on and two misses, this is ridiculous. This is amazing. Because Polaris, I'm gonna have the like a plus 200 damage bonus for Metronome or whatever the hell it is. And as soon as I get it to level two, it's gonna one shot everything. As soon as I get it to level three, it's gonna one shot like jammed enemies. It's gonna be extremely powerful. And I've got enough ammo with the level of curse we have, we might get ammo drops. With the fact that I have the full metal jacket, I should not take damage for a while anyways and it's gonna charge up very quickly. So we have very, a very ammo efficient gun here. It's gonna end up doing a lot of damage very shortly. Oh no, uh, we lost the metronome bonus, shit. I forgot about that. You know what, that's fine. We'll have to rebuild metronome. But, it'll be worth it. Of course, everything is freaking jammed here. Dropping them into the pit doesn't count for metronome. We're gonna have to do the killing ourselves. 
So if we can get the metronome bonus up there and like one ammo drop will be fine, but everything being jammed is gonna really eat into my ammo efficiency, I think. Yeah, just knock him into the pit. Knock him into the pit! Thank you. Potion, potion, potion. Ah, oh, shit. You can't use items in the middle of a dodge roll, so I was gonna take that damage. Anyways. I just want the level two. Give me level two. There's level two. Now I can actually kill things faster now. <laughs> I, I, I totally came down to this floor thinking I still had the metronome bonus at max. But no, we do not. We have to rebuild it. So that first phase, that's gonna be the worst of it, I think. Now we're at level two, metronome is building. Try to save ammo when I can. We got it. If I can get one ammo drop, then we are in the clear, 100%. I don't need to blank. That was stupid, that was incredibly stupid. Literally, I do not need to worry about blanking. It's gonna happen for me. Well, I'm out of blanks, so next damage we take, we lose metronome for good. Because I don't think we'll have enough time to uh, really rebuild. Damage? You know what? Knock him out. Knock him out! Trying to focus here. So we're at level three now. Very good for us. Bullets are coming through the cracks in the walls. It's very good for us. Let's keep it there. Let's get one ammo drop. I don't want to. I don't want to switch guns. If I switch guns, I'm gonna lose the metrogun bonus. Wish I could get like five hits on the metronome from that room from killing the the new and improved Mega Thwomp heads. I understand why you, you can't. Give me this room. Find you. Stop it! 58 shots, come on, give me a ammo drop. That would be really dope. How much is one shot? One shot is enough to get them in their explosion state. That's pretty good. That's pretty acceptable. Come on, ammo drop. Should just kill, yeah, the Batman, like, as soon as I can. Two shots to kill a jammed enemy with the alpha bullet. Pretty good. Ammo drops, please! I think it's gonna be down the correct path. We're switching to Pox Cannon if this runs out. As a as a quick little one-shot though, that's fine. I wasted a lot of ammo shooting that guy. Ammo drop! Ammo drop, eight shots left. We could get through this room with eight shots. You know what, I believe. I believe in the power of giving me an ammo drop. Die on your own bullets. Damn. For a second there, you had to believe. You had to believe. Well, let's go with the, let's go with the. You know, honestly, it doesn't really matter what we use here. Um, if we want to build something up for the boss fight itself, maybe we want to do something like Pox Cannon. Knockback's pretty good. 
poison on uh, certain enemies like the freaking enemies that spawn skeletons is nice because then they'll just keep running around for a while. Uh, I don't like that. Stop making your bullets. Kill him. Try to get that metronome bonus stacked up now. Yeah, we're gonna have to switch to something else with the boss fight. We're probably not gonna have the metronome at all, but you know what? That's fine. See that happening? I did not see that happening. I didn't mean to get hit twice there, obviously. But that first shot kind of knocked that guy backwards a little bit. It screwed me up a little bit. You're jammed, aren't you? Yeah, no, you're not. I just have a very low level pox cannon now. So full metal jacket, you know, it saved me a little bit on this floor. Wish I uh, didn't use all my blanks in like the first five rooms. Ah, if only I, if only I could keep the metronome bonus when the Winchester game man uh, gives me my guns back. Because when he takes the gun, that's when you lose the bonus. I think that's hard coded in the game that whenever you lose your gun, you lose the bonus. Because when you gain that gun, nothing happens. When you pick up a gun, nothing happens. It's only when you drop a gun or you put a gun in a gun muncher that you lose your metronome bonus so that you can't, you know, get off of the gun. I I still wish that it was changed. Only because it would make the game slightly easier. Slightly, slightly, slightly easier because I could keep that uh, delicious metronome bonus. My other option was not to play him, and honestly, that might have even been the better option because with the uh, bonus on the membrane, I would have been able to get through those first rooms a little bit easier than switch to the Pox Cannon, which is better than the first level Polaris because a lot of my damage was from that first level Polaris trying to get it leveled up. If I had ignored that and just focused on dodging and surviving and killing enemies quickly, which would indirectly increase my survivability, then I think it would have been better off. But hey, there is one blank this is worth it. There's one blank, so I can... take one shot for free. Start using blooper for a bit, why not? Should be able to kill enemies very quickly, and these are some very annoying enemies. Annoying, but not terribly difficult. Honestly, this guy being jammed, I think, is worse than the, uh... ...than the Iron Maiden being jammed. The thing with the blooper is that it takes a long t This guy being jammed is even worse. The thing about the blooper is that it takes a long time to reload. That first shot does do more damage, but you can't always get it. So don't worry about it. Just worry about killing things, you know? Killing things and knocking them around. What spawn? You spawned! You die. We're gonna get a lot of metronome charges on this though. Maybe if I'm lucky I'll get a chest drop. The chest will give me an excellent boss killer. Taking my shots wisely, trying to take out the non-jammed enemies first, and then we'll worry about this dude. Would you just die, please? You are gonna die. I hate the mix of cow cowboy bullets and veterans, because the veterans, they shoot where you're going. The cowboys, they shoot around you. You can't stay still, and you can't move. It's the worst of both worlds. Well, we're fighting the boss. 14 shots in the blooper. And then we'll decide what to do after that point. 
decent enough damage that I don't mind taking some shots at this guy for now. I don't need to blank. Why am I blanking? I'm such an idiot. You'd think one day I would learn, hey, you don't need to do that. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the uh, this one. Oh, look at that. I've destroyed the gun somehow. By destroy the gun, I mean just make it awesome. He was walking over to me earlier, so I can do this very easily. Just stupid blank usage. Dumb damage. Trying to get the Polaris leveled up. That's what this run is about. Me being an idiot sometimes. Should have just freaking... Kept the membrane, or... I should have dodged better and not taken all that damage. And I should have not blanked when I have the thing that auto blanks for me. That's like the worst offen offense right there. Um, yeah. I didn't mean to get hit by that one, of course. We're definitely damage capping him, I think. The overlap of his attacks can be kind of annoying because you might not have enough time to, like, get reset. Because the weapon switch bug, I just want to make sure I can, uh... Uh, change weapons on my own term. Terms. We should be fine here. I've got enough health that I can tank this guy, even if I take a lot of stupid damage. I don't really have a really great boss killer anymore. But honestly, Void Core Assault Rifle is not half bad. This right here. I don't have enough time to like reset myself because those attacks are overlapping. So I really don't know what to do about that. I gotta think about that. How would you, how would I? And the worst part about that attack isn't even the circles, it's the fact that those circles do shoot you where you're standing. So you've, you have to move. Where do you move to? Spin to win? That was very close. I didn't see that coming in when I was looking at the gun menu. Save it for this. Hey. Stop spinning. That's not your spin to win. It's a different spinning attack. That lag! What the hell, game? This is your spin to win attack. This is the one I like. Well, we're gonna win. Relatively easy enough lich fight, although I am taking a lot of stupid damage. <laughs> I said that before I took that second hit, but I was standing too close to him to dodge it, really. There's a lot of dumb damage on the lich floor, and a lot of dumb damage early before I was even fighting the old king, but we made it work. Didn't see the Lord of the Jam at all. I could have gotten jammed on the, 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 the secret shop. Here's the thing. As soon as I pick up one item, he's gonna spawn and they're all going to disappear. They don't disappear after four seconds. They disappear immediately. So yeah, I could have gotten the Huntsman and then that's it. I could have gotten Unicorn Horn and that's it. I could have gotten, you know, whatever else uh, Cursula had, Yellow Chamber, and then that would be it. That's the only thing I could buy from that secret shop. So in the end, it's just not even worth it because to pick up one of those items unless you can pick up all three. I just wish there was a short delay before when they close their shops because then I would just buy up all of the, the high curse items and I'd be like, okay, we're doing it. We, there's, I got all the spice in the world and we're gonna buy everything from the shop. I mean, I guess I could have done that. I could have used the spice in the blacksmith's shop, but then I wouldn't have enough to afford anything from the other shops because, you know, I didn't even, I didn't really have enough to buy all the things I wanted anyways. I wanted the full metal jacket, I wanted to play Winchester's game, and I kind of wanted the membrane in order to maybe keep the, or yeah, I, I actually did buy the membrane before the boss fight so I could keep the, the metronome bonus active for the entire fight. I just didn't have enough money to do everything, including buy the spice that was external to the, uh, the secret shop. Yeah. But in any case, it was a victory. Thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more, and I hope to see you here for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.